Alright, so it's Batman vs Iron Man. We're going to give you some of the backstories of these characters, their strengths and weaknesses, and then we're going to be discussing them a little bit. Okay, so first up is Batman. Uh, when Bruce Wayne was very young, his parents were killed in front of him after watching the play The Mark of Zorro. Growing up with Justice Butler Alfred, he told himself that he must protect others from experiencing the trouble that he went through. He travelled the world learning almost all forms of martial arts to return back home to Gotham City and with the help of Commissioner Gordon and the rest of his Bat family, fights crime as the vig vigilante known as Batman. As mentioned before, Batman is familiar with almost every single type of martial arts, including um, Taekwondo, Karate, Jiu Jitsu, all that kind of stuff which makes him a very unique and dangerous fighter. He also has degrees in chemistry, biology, engineering and much, much more. He always has a plan when going into a dangerous situation, which makes him a master tactician and with the use of his trusty utility belt, which he pretty much has anything he wants in, let's be realistic, he, um, he can really outsmart anybody. Batman has some weaknesses though. Because he is human, he can be killed with a single bullet. Seriously, one bullet can kill this guy. Not many superheroes have that kind of weakness. He is also vulnerable to human emotions. These include love, hate, and even fear. Saying that, he is one of DC's trinity, which makes him very important and puts him in with the likes of Superman and Wonder Woman. Now on to Iron Man. Uh, Tony Stark is a playboy millionaire owning one of the biggest companies in the Marvel Universe, until he was captured by terrorists during weapon demonstration. To escape, Stark created his first Iron Man armor with the help of Yo Ho Yin Sen. Sorry. <laughs> Iron Man escaped and went, went on to be one of Marvel's premier superheroes, a founding member of the Avengers alongside Thor, Ant-Man, Wasp, and the Hulk. His role in the Marvel Universe is very much one of a planner. He also coordinates the Avengers in most incarnations, and is a member also of the Illuminati. A recent update to his powers came through the form of Extremis. Scientist Mayer Henson developed a techno-organic agent that was able to utilize humans to their full potential and give them above normal strength and powers. After nearly, after nearly dying as a result of fighting one of these enhanced people, he was inserted with this agent himself. This gave Tony new powers. No longer just a guy with a suit, but he had superior organs and strength, as well as the ability to link into virtually any computer in the world. So, let's talk about Batman's real big strengths. Yeah, well, um, he's pretty much not afraid of anything. No. He can jump into a situation at any time he likes. Um, he'll come out of it. Uh -huh. Most of the time? Most of the time, I mean, he, time. he fights aliens and he just gets away with it and doesn't get hurt. And at one time, he beat Superman? He beat Superman. <clears throat> and saying that, Iron Man did fight the Hulk once and did not win. So you could take that into consideration. You can take that into consideration. Also say, um, Batman, as long as long with his smartness, he's also very brave and he won't give up a fight like... He fights guys. Um, in, night, in Nightfall, he was physically broken down for about months, and then he still s tried to stand up to this huge, incredible figure of Bane. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't able to do it. Bit of a spoiler there, but it's seen it in Dark Knight Rises. He wasn't able to do it, but he didn't give up. Mm -hmm. And Tony Stark? Yeah. Well, he's not. Uh, he's not a. He doesn't lack in um, physical ability. He was trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat with, um, by Captain America. Yeah, but saying that, he isn't as skilled as Batman. No, no. But he is um, a very what, strong character. Strong character, yeah. yeah. His character is very... Uh, Driven. Driven. Driven's a good yeah, word. Yeah, that's a good word. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else you want to say? Uh, he's, he's, well, before we talk about being smart, but the main area of expertise for Tony Stark is engineering, so building yeah. stuff, the suit, but also other gadgets and stuff that can be used, so that can become important in yeah, a fight. Yeah, plus enhancing. Yeah. Yeah, he also made the Hulkbuster um, suit to fight the Hulk. Uh, hopefully we get to see that in Avengers 2. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, you saw that in the concept art. And... 
Um, one little matter we have to discuss here. Often when Batman fights Iron Man, the idea of an EMP comes into use. And while this might work, it's only a might. Yeah. Um, Iron Man's come across heaps and heaps of EMPs in his career. like, And since he's come across them, he's made it so his suit is no longer affected. So Batman would have to come up with one that hasn't been yeah. created he's before. really strong. He'll be take out the whole entire city. Yeah. All um, the world. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, the group AIM, they could only they only figured out one EMP to beat Iron Man, and they're a group of evil, evil scientists. So that shows how difficult that task is. Yeah, so pretty even fight. Yeah, pretty even fight. Um, so if you wanna, if you wanna choose who you think would win, post it down in the comments or on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll be giving you the the results, results in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So yeah, stick around for that. Okay, so moving on, uh, we'll be giving you our thoughts on the Batman Arkham Knight trailer and anything else we picked up from the game. Yes. So this game is the Third, created by Rocksteady, which is the studio that made Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. So this is their third game, so uh, it is going to end their trilogy and be their finale. Yeah. Um, the other game created... Yeah, very sad. The other game was Arkham Origins, which was the last one to come out last year. Uh, I think we can be hopeful this game doesn't really follow in those footsteps because... It was pretty disappointing. It was pretty disappointing. I mean, it was a good game. Yeah. But it wasn't very inventive. It was too similar. To yeah, it was too similar. It was just uh, essentially a really, really long DLC with a few little extra things. Yeah. So, while we, I think we like like that game. I think we're expecting bigger things from Arkham Knight. Yeah. So the first thing that we, the first taste that we got from it was the trailer. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry to all you people out there that don't have a PS4 or Xbox One. It's only next gen consoles plus PC. Um, so if you're a PC gamer, then you won't miss out. But uh, consoles, you have to, console gamers, you have to have a PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, luckily, I have one. I'm saving up my pennies. I haven't got one yet. Um, so I'm 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 pre-ordering it once uh, once it, uh, once I get a chance to. And maybe when the collector's editions come out. Then yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the trailer, I really really liked it. Yeah. Hey, that trailer. I wanted to save it on my phone. I didn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, the suit. Let's talk about the suit first. Okay. Uh, it shows the first thing you see is Bruce Wayne. The first time you see Bruce Wayne, he's not in a suit. He's like in his under suit thingy. Under Armour. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You can call Whatever it you want to call it. Yeah, it looks really cool. That Even that cool. just looks cool. That looks cool. It goes all the way up to his neck. And, oh, amazing! And then once the suit comes out, it actually does it come out of it. No, it, it's it's put on top of that. Oh, yeah, that's I was confused about that. But it's it's a pretty cool suit. It did move, the, the suit moved, didn't it? Yeah, like it, it fit in place. Yeah, it was like it's like, like a Iron Man style yeah. putting it on. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to say, don't really like the new suit. Really, don't like the new suit. I'm sorry for me. The definitive kind of Batman suit is the one seen in Arkham City, and for me. This is moving away from comics and more towards suits you'd see in movies or in the like in the, like in the Dark Knight. Okay, well, because Arkham City they had a really good suit. That yeah, it was a good suit. It, it fit the it fit the theme. Yeah, I think um, this suit would be more appropriate for this game. If they had the old suit, I don't think it would um, make much sense because all the the, the situation is even more dangerous this time mm -hmm. around. Uh, Saying that I like the origins better, the suit, this origin suit better. Oh, we're getting into debate just about the suits here. <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, in Arkham Origins, I liked it better than the city one. It's just because the armor really looked cool. Uh -huh. Instead of just like flat color. Okay. I liked the individual parts and stuff, which they're bringing into Arkham Knight, and I'm really excited for the suit. Um, the suit, however, does, I've got to admit, it, fit, it does fit better, especially with the Batmobile. Oh. It looks like it was made out of the same stuff as the Batmobile, yeah. and oh my gosh, the Batmobile. It looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait to drive around. <laughs> <laughs> the tagline for the game, Be the Batman, is literally what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I mean, Arkham has the best game play as Batman ever. That's mm. pretty easy, easy yeah. but... To be able to drive the Batmobile as well. Oh, that's amazing. It looks like it's gonna be fun. Okay, well, the character models, they're, they're really changed in this movie. Some of them, not all of them. Um, Two Face looks pretty much the same. Yeah. 
we don't get to see Scarecrow. I haven't seen Scarecrow in the trailer, but we did yeah. his voiceover. Um, yeah, Harley Quinn. She looks really good in this game. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it better than the City in Asylum. Um, it looks just more like a realistic person with makeup on. While in the first two games, it, it just seemed like a, someone they ripped out of the book, which is all right, but to fit the theme of realism, I think yeah, the I game's going a little bit more realistic in yeah. this one. Yeah. Um, another character model we've seen a bit of was uh, Jim Gordon. Um, that character model is so detailed, it's not even funny. You can see the wrinkles on his face from old age, and I think that shows just how far um, graphics and games have come. Mm. One last character, I think this is the last one, that's um, the Penguin. Penguin. Ah, oh, I love the look, the new yeah, look. It's a good look. It, it, plus, I'm so excited to hear Nolan North play him again. <laughs> No Lord is my favourite voice actor ever, and he does some of the best work I've ever heard. Plus, him as um, Penguin in the first two games, standout performances, I'd, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Although Mark Hamill was really good in the first two games, uh, even Kevin Conroy. Of course, no, they're, they're kind of many yeah, states, they're, but they are Batman and the Joker. Yeah. Um, other performances in City, there was like Troy Baker as... Two Face, which was pretty good, but he didn't have a big, very big role. Yeah, and uh, he was yeah. only in the Catwoman story, wasn't he? Yeah, it? and this very start, which was a bit of a letdown yeah. for that character. So hopefully, we see a bit more out of Two Face this time. Yeah. So out of all those um, minor characters in the first two games, Oswald Cobblepot, best voice, best character, I think. The Riddler was pretty good, but mm. Penguin, uh, Nolan North, if I have to say, Nolan North. So can I ask Zach, what characters are you hoping for in this game that haven't been, haven't been given positive yet? I don't know for sure. Mm. I don't really know. Because they've used so many in the last game. They games. have. Uh, I'm just trying to think of someone that wasn't in them. Um, I don't know. Why don't you go first? Let me think. Well, we already know that the, <clears throat> uh, the character Oracle, Barbara Gordon, she's mm. going to show up. Physically this time, not just a voice over com style talk. She's going to be in the game. Um, fingers crossed for Nightwing or Robin or something. Come on, I love that stuff. I'm just hoping for Nightwing. Um, I, I want an appearance by Superman. That would be cool. Just even two seconds. Even just an Easter egg of him flying over the Gotham City. I mean, this is their last Arkham game. What could they do next? I think maybe at the end they should bring in the Justice League. That would be the best game. And you should go up to the watchtower yeah. and everything. Okay. Oh, that'd be awesome. Stop putting ideas out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, characters, I don't really know. There's so there's so many that I want to see. Yeah. And so many that have already been there. Yeah, it's been the great thing about the Arkham games. They've utilized so many different characters. I mean, only really, really new characters haven't been in it. Yeah. And even some of them have, like Hush was a side mission. Oh yeah, he oh, should totally be in it. So Hush let's really see what good. happens with that. I think. Oh, you know who? They haven't really used in the last games. Killer Croc. Uh, he was a big part of Arkham Asylum. Asylum. Yeah, but, but then in City, season. he was there for only like two seconds. If so, you found him, I found him. Yeah, I found him. <laughs> so, though, yeah. we're looking forward to hopefully a bigger appearance by him. And I really want Hush. I really want Hush. I don't know. People have said people have said he's overrated. I don't think so. I don't think so. That was he's a really amazing. good graphic novel. Yeah, art oh, was amazing. So it was amazing. I think uh, I'm gonna go on a limb here, and I'm gonna say he's gonna be a bigger baddie than Scarecrow in this game. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I might be wrong. He might just be a side mission. He might not be in it at all. But I don't want him to be a side mission. Though. I think he'll be very important. Scarecrow is the main villain. That's what they said, right? Next, next thing you know, he takes off his mask and he's the Joker. Uh, or the Arkhamite's the Joker. Let's not do that again. All right, so I'm saying it. Arkhamite's the Joker. No, I'm not. And it's Arkham Origins all over again. <laughs> no, Arkham Knight. Let's talk about Arkham Knight. We can talk about the that. Arkham Knight character. Oh, his his um suit. The, the, the yeah. At least he looks Amazing. badass. Badass is just the word for it. It is. It's pretty much Destro plus Batman. Yeah, that's a very good yeah. way to say it. Um, Destro plus Batman plus more armor plus Iron Man. Let's put Iron Man's armor in there somewhere. It's pretty much all cool armors put together. Yeah. And we don't know who it is. Yeah. Um, it could be a new character. It could be someone that's appeared before in the Arkham universe. It could be someone who hasn't appeared at all. I've read predictions and they said that it might be Thomas Wayne. 
His father. His father. Well, the trailer did feature. Yeah, his father talking. His father talking. Being disappointed. Well, I mean, he's it going sounded... against everything that he said he shouldn't do. So, he could be Thomas Wayne. Could be Thomas, could Wayne. Be Thomas Wayne. Could be Hush. Could, could be. Never, yeah, it could be Hush. Could, could be, be Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Could be Deathstroke. Ready Joker. Joker. Could be anybody. It could be Tali Al Ghul. Who said it had to be a guy? It would have to be um, remote control or something for that to happen. Yeah, but she did die in the last game. She did die in the last game. Spoilers if you haven't played it. Why haven't you played it? Yeah. Go buy it now. Three years now. Seriously. Yeah. We're not even kidding. We'll find you. (laughs) (laughs) So overall, I think I'm really excited for this game. Uh, Can't wait to pre-order it. Can't wait to get all the stuff. And the game, of course. So, start saving money. PS4 and Arkham Knight. It should only cost... 600, 700 bucks? For everything. For that's everything? PS4. So that's that's not too expensive for an <laughs> awesome game, is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. Uh, we'll see you guys. Okay, so now you have all the facts on Batman and Iron Man. You get to choose who wins and who doesn't in the comments below or a poll on our Facebook page. Also, comment whether you're looking forward to Arkham Knight. It's gonna be a big game, it might be one of the biggest games of the year. Well, especially for us comic book fans. So, comment, what do you think? Are you looking forward to it? Let us know. See you in the next video.